Hi, my name is Jeremy Cowles and I'm a software engineer on the Universal Scene Description team. Today I'll be talking about scripting and software integration with USD. To give a little background, the target users we had in mind when designing the USD API were integration and pipeline software engineers, as well as production technical leads from crowd, sets, effects, and sim. The common thread across these disciplines is that performance is critical. Often they're dealing with issues of scale and need to get work done quickly. So additionally, common tasks need to be really easy. So to demonstrate how this has been manifested in the USD API, I'll show an example of traversing a scene, finding all the subdiv meshes, and reading some data. This is a common, a common task that you see in production scripts. So here I'm running Python. In this case, I ran PyPix30, but that's just our own kind of flavor of Python. And I'm importing the USD library and then opening a stage. In this case, I'll open the dorm room set from Monsters University. Next, I'll call stage.composeGraph, which goes out and finds all of the composed layers that have been brought in from this root layer, and that recursively traverses anything else that those layers might bring in as well. This doesn't actually read the data, it just simply builds a skeletal structure in memory so that we know where to look for values. Next, I'll iterate over every stage, every prim in the stage, using the built-in method traverse. Traverse does a depth-first traversal over the stage scene graph. If the primitive is a subdiv, I'll next print out the prim's path using the built-in method getPath. And then I'll iterate over all the attributes that have been defined for this prim using the built-in method getAttributes. And for each attribute, print out the attribute name and the attribute type name, such as int, float, string, etc. So here we see traversing the entire stage and visiting every attribute is fairly straightforward, a few lines of code. Next, if we want to read the value of, say, this color that's been declared of type vec3d, we can grab the path of the prim. In this case, we're looking at this poster. And we can say stage.getPrimItPath and pass in this string. Next, we can get the attribute object that represents the color. So we say prim get at attribute color and then we can read values from this attribute now using the method get which takes a time at Pixar we use time in terms of frames so when I say get 1.0 that means get the value of the color attribute on the first frame and here we see it printed out the RGB value of the color so this was a very simple example, though it is a common task. It only took a few lines of code. And I'd also like to point out that in C++, the exact same task is represented very similarly. This isn't a complex C++ API that's been simplified in Python. This, the C++ API has been wrapped directly out to Python. So if you know the Python API, you know the C++ API and vice versa.